happy to see you. I'm overjoyed. You're two people I love and admire and respect very much. Kristen, to have you here two days after Just Like That and Just Like That aired. We're going to talk about that in a minute. It's huge. Sure. We're thrilled. <laughs> and we all love Sex in the City. I mean, what about you, Chloe? Were you more of a Charlotte, Samantha, Miranda, Carrie? Who are you? I mean, I feel like there's definitely parts of each woman in everyone out there. I oh. feel like I've always been a little bit of a Charlotte, a little bit of a Carrie. And I feel like, you know, Charlotte's always been the, the, the real and the person that's always kind of shown who they are no matter what. Oh. So I love, I love Charlotte. That's so sweet. Can you always spot a Charlotte? Is she you a know, Charlotte? Uh, well, I would have looked at Chloe and said she was a Carrie. Okay. I okay. think because she's okay. very, very hip. Cool. <laughs> which is kind of opposite of Charlotte, right? <laughs> but some people can be a Carrie on the outside and a Charlotte on the inside. There you go, yeah. But then there. there's also the Charlottes that are very clearly a Charlotte, where they have, like, brown hair and they're very mm. put together mm -hmm. and they're kind of dressed a certain way, which is so not how I dress in life. I'm kind of much more slobby in life than Charlotte is. <laughs> you know, because yeah. they can't walk around like that. You know no. what I'm saying? No. But, you know, they're very coiffed, and they have brown hair, and it's very glossy and straight, and they're kind of... What am I? Who am I? Oh. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I think I know who I am, who, who do you think? I, th I think you're a Charlotte. I think I'm straight up Samantha. Samantha, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> I knew that's where you were going. <laughs> what? Wait, you 100%? Feel like a Samantha. Wow. <laughs> I, have, I really enjoy it. Look at that red wow. suit. Wow. <laughs> Look at the well, red suit. You know? You're bold. You're bold. I get <laughs> it. Now, uh, Chloe, we're obviously talking about uh, Sex in the City, which is a show yep. that I was in, uh, obsessed with uh, at one point in my life, and that, re that obsession is re-emerging in my life right now. But when you were younger, you were obsessed with the Olsen twins. Of course. Now, how yeah. deep are we oh, yeah. talking? Because we never really got that in England. It oh, never really was Oh, a my God. We got thing. it in America for oh, sure. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> So I how deep an obsession are we talking? Pretty deep. I mean, I will say my third, fourth, and fifth birthdays were all Olsen twin birthdays. Wow. The different movies. Wow. And my favorite one was New York Minute, because we got the pizza and the I Heart New York shirts, and wow. kind of the whole bit. But even a couple years ago, I did a 2000s-themed birthday, and most people showed up as the Olsen twins <laughs> in different forms. <laughs> really? Wow. Swear to God, yeah. No, it's like, I, I think if I met them today, I would be so starstruck. I don't know what I don't know what I would do. I would just be in awe of them. But you've met like no, I, they're not the Olsen twins. Sure, I hear. You. <laughs> I hear. You. I hear. You. Now, Kristen, you yes. have had. I don't know if people know this. You've had guest roles in some of the greatest sitcoms of all time. Like the lineup is amazing. Seinfeld, Larry Sanders, Friends. Is it true that you? came quite close to being cast as Monica. I don't think that we could say quite <laughs> close, OK? I think I was one of, like, 8,000 young ladies who read right. for Monica. And Courtney Cox got her. But Courtney and I were in the same yoga class at the time. Same. It was like OK. Same. Were, were you there Classic. as well? OK, great, Classic. great. I didn't see you. Um, and we used to hang out. The rest of us were, like, unemployed actor, waitresses types, right? And we would hang out after class. And one day, Courtney was like, hey, guys, you know, do you want to come car shopping with me? And we were like, wow, car, mm, car shopping. She said, you know, I did this pilot. I'm feeling really good about it. I think I'm going to buy a Porsche. We were like, wow, uh, is she for uh, real? And it was friends. And, and it did go very well. Uh, <laughs> now, Chloe, something happened to you recently. You recently got your wisdom teeth yes. removed. Singular tooth. I I only tooth, did one. A one tooth. <laughs> how was this? How how do you feel? Um, I feel kind of nervous because I have to get two more out. Oh, yeah. you have to stagger it. You can't take them all out at the well, same time. Well, it was it was it was six days ago, so I oh. was I was convinced well, that I great. was not going to be okay. You look fine. So I was like, I feel like if I bet against you know one tooth, I can heal that one, but three feels like a bad idea because mm. I was born without one on this side. Right. But afterwards, I mean, I was you know sky high in the midnight sky. I mean, I was, you know, flying. You I was like, why didn't we take them all? Like, well, you actually sent under. a video. This is Chloe Grace Moritz <gasps> right after oh, her wisdom suit was out. Bad. And you, you look like you're feeling pretty good. Have a look. I look like something. Where are we going, Chloe? I want, I'm going to the club. <laughs> Bushy Bellows. I'm going to go directly to Bushy Bellows, and I'm going to dance. <laughs> I don't remember anything. That is the cutest thing ever. I, why did I want to dance so badly? And apparently... Because you were high. <laughs> it happens to lots of people when they're high. 
<laughs> According to those around me, I, I kept continuing wanting to dance throughout the day and would try to get up with blood kind of coming out of my oh. mouth. And I'd be like, let's go. <laughs> let's do this. Wow. Well, we're thrilled that you're here. I hope the next two go well. I very, very much I'll do. I'll let you I hope know. It goes okay. <laughs> Send us another video, promise. Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, great. Appreciate sure. it. Now, let's do it. Congratulations, Kristen, on the huge success of And Just Like That. Thank you. The biggest series debut ever on HBO Max. Thank you, thank you. I mean, such a big decision to go and do the show, to mm. go back and revisit this world and yes. these characters. Mm, yes. How do you feel right now? Good. Um, <laughs> you know, it's always a risk. I mean, I know it doesn't necessarily seem like it, but even, you know, back in 1998, when we did the pilot, everyone was like, you know, that's, that's a strange show. Four women, 35 years old, just running around the city. No one's gonna watch that show. Like, we were always the underdog, kind of, you know? And we loved, we always loved it. We did it kind of in a bubble. And we were always like, do you think people will watch it? Are they gonna be outraged? We don't know. You know, it was always like an adventure. Mm. We were always kind of the underdog. And then, like, with the films, also, we had to go pitch the films to Warner Brothers. Everyone said, oh, comedy doesn't play internationally. It won't make money. Mm -hmm. No one has four women over whatever age we were then starring in a film. Uh -huh. And then with the new show, they also had to go pitch it. They had to go convince HBO Max to do it again because now we're in our 50s and people don't really do shows about women over their 50s, mm -hmm. right? So we were all nervous and scared, but we really, really wanted to do it because we love it. And to have people watch it, thank you, means so much. Well, the show is amazing. It's so huge. I'm so thrilled for all of you. Every single one.